So next week, we have another big tournament in Barcelona, an ATP 500 event with a big names playing in this one. We've got Rafa's going to be in the draw as well. But let's go have a look at who's not going to be playing in Barcelona next week. So only a couple of names are pulled out. Lehechka, he's pulled out. McDonald also pulled out. And Rusevore will be missing next week. Carlos Alcaraz, he's also pulled out of this tournament due to that arm injury. So huge name, defending champion of the last two years, not going to be at this event. All right, starting at the top of the draw, we have 16 seats in this one. And everybody gets a buy in the first round. Mar Marajan, he comes in as the 17th seed, replacing Elkrez at the top of the draw. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on the winner of Van Aish and Zhong in the second round. Then you've got Diaz Acosta versus Rincon. Winner of that will take on the number 15 seed, Chorich, in the second round. Then you've got the number 10 seed, Musetti. Gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either a qualifier or Bayana in the second round. Then you've got Kotov taking on Ovna. Winner of that will take on the number five seed, City Pass, in the second round. Very fun little section here because, of course, City Pass playing so well this week. Musetti also dangerous in this section as well. So should be a really fun section to see who gets out of it. Second part of the draw now, we've got Demonor, the number four seed. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either Kaboli or Rafa Nadal. In that second round, so Rafa's back, and he's in the draw, so that's a great sign to see. And of course, Rafa playing at home, possibly the last time, unless he plays Madrid as well. So really fun little section. Then you got Old Mayor taking on Popper, and winner of that will take on the number 16 seed, Feast, in the second round. Then you got the number 11 seed, Fakina, gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on the winner of Mahatch, or a qualifier, in the second round. Then you got another qualifier taking on Lajovic, winner of that will take on the number 6 seed, Umber, in the second round. So of course, players to watch out for, you got to watch out for Demonor. And Umber, but of course, Rafa Nadal. He is the one that we're all looking out for. We want to see him play well. And he's got a nice draw. I mean, if he can beat Kaboli, great matchup there in the second round to play against Demonor. And of course, this section of the draw in the semifinals could be getting City Pass, considering his form. Maybe it's City Pass versus Demonor. Maybe City Pass versus Umber in the semifinals. But really exciting part of the draw for this one. All right, bottom half of the draw, we've got the number 8 seed, Baez. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either Anaudi or Kazo in the second round. Then we've got a battle between two qualifiers. Winner of that battle will play against the number 9 seed, Jarry, in the second round. Then you've got the number 14 seed, Thompson. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either Munar or Nishioka in the second round. Then you've got Muller taking Ramos Vinoles. Winner of that will take on the number 3 seed, Casper Rude, in the second round. Of course, Rude playing so well this week by making the final of Monte Carlo. But you got to watch out for Rude, of course. Biggest dangerous player probably in this section. Also, Jarry and Baez, both of those guys... Very, very good on the clay courts in South America in February. So watch out for those two guys as well. But this is going to be a really, really fun section. And hopefully, for Casper Rude, he can get through this section. Bottom part of the draw now, we've got the number seven seed, Hashinov. Gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either Safulin or Batista Agu in the second round. Then you've got a qualifier taken on Cashin. Winner of that will take on the number 12 seed, Nori Echeverry. Number 13 seed gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either a qualifier or Landalucci in the second round. Then you've got Evans taking on Nakashima. Winner of that will take on the number two seed, Andre Rublev, in the second round. Very fun section, and really, Kashinov is the only guy out of this section that has stood up in the last week. Echeverry, Rublev, both having disappointing weeks last week. So, really interesting to see what happens here. And, of course, Rublev, one to watch out for. Hashinov, we've got to watch out for him. And Echeverry, like I mentioned, but Nori also. Nori can also play on clay, so watch out for him as well. And this section will take on the Rude section in the semifinals. So, Rublev, Rude. That could be a semi-final, maybe Rublev versus Baez. If you want to go something a little different, maybe Rublev taking on Jarry. If you want to go something even more different, or if you like Kasper Rude and put him in the semis, Rude versus Hashinov, which is based on the form. So that's probably the most likely if we're basing it on last week's form in Monte Carlo. There it is. That is the draw for Barcelona. It never disappoints Barcelona. It's almost like a 1,000 title. It does have a lot of big players playing. it. Pass, Rude. Played well last week in Monte Carlo. They're there as well. Rafa's return. Please, Rafa, play a match. At least play one match for us so we can watch you. But, man, what a tournament. Who's going to win, though? Let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win in Barcelona in 2024? But there it is, the Barcelona Open. Very, very interesting draw.